In this video, you can learn how to crop and resize in Adobe Photoshop CC. So what the crop tool is going to allow you to do is improve the composition of your photo. You can resize with the crop tool. You can also straighten an image. But so let's get started here. So to use the crop tool, we can get to it in one of two ways. Up here in the toolbar, you can see the crop icon or you can hit C for the crop tool. Once in the crop tool, you can crop a couple of different ways. One way is you can drag your mouse in whatever crop you want. Say I'm cropping around the dog right here. Let go. And you can see the boundary around where you've cropped kind of gives you an idea of what your crop is going to look like. Clicking the checkbox will commit your crop. Also, I can crop by pulling in the handles on the sides. Up here at the top menu bar, there's some options here for different grids. Most of the time you want to use the rule of thirds. And what that does is help you better change your comp um, change your composition so that it looks a little bit better. You just, you can position it, your subject at any of these intersections. I kind of like this one. So I'll click the, I'll click the checkbox and there is my crop using rule of thirds. So up here on the toolbar options for the crop tool, I want to explain this option here, delete crop pixels. You want to have that unchecked pretty much all the time. Because if you check it and say you'd make a crop, say so I pull this boundary in, click on the check mark. Now, if I want to change that, I can't. I mean, I can click on the, the crop, you know, just give me the grid, but I don't see the rest of my pixels out here. I don't see the rest of my photo. So in essence, you can't go back. So that's why you want to have it unchecked. If you're making your crop, Say like that one. I can click on it. If I want to change it, I can click on it. There you see the outline of the rest of the, the photo. I can change it. And I can click my check mark. And now I was able to go back in and change my crop. So that's why you would leave the delete crop pixels unchecked. So now in the crop toolbar at the top, there's a drop down called ratio. And so now let's go through what some of those things mean. So ratio is the ratio or relationship between the width and height of, in this case, the photo. Now, if we were to choose a one-to-one -one relationship, that would be like a square, something that like you, like Instagram used to be a square or 16 by nine, that's a ratio for say video. But it's not size, it is just the relationship between the width and height of a photo, in this case, a crop. So let's look at that. So for ratio, uh, if I wanna choose square, I could either select it down here or put it in these boxes here. And now as you can see, this is a square crop. I can move it around, change the, the, the crop position, but it's maintaining that one to one relationship. Instagram, you can use a four by five ratio. And again, no matter how I crop it and move it around, it's maintaining that 
4 to 5 ratio. What you can do is say I have my 4 to 5 ratio right here that I am going to use for Instagram. And one of the options you have to do is save a new crop preset. So even though I've already saved one for Instagram, I'll show you here. You can name it something else. And next time I come in and I want to get this prepared for Instagram, I can just go to my preset. There it is. I can move it around um, any way I like. Click my check mark. There it is. Now this is, again, this is a, a ratio that we're doing here. It is not the size that Instagram needs, but Instagram size is 1080. But that's an example of what you can do with your ratios. So the crop tool can be used for cropping and sizing. You can choose the width by height by resolution and say we want to make this a Facebook banner. So we would put in 820 by 312 and right now resolution doesn't matter because we're not using this for print and what I could do is move this crop around just a little bit and there is my Facebook banner so working with the crop tool here and the width height and resolution is great for resizing for social media or websites so if I knew I had a website that required a photo to be dimensions of 2500 and say 1600 let's say resolution we wanted 300 Okay, so this photo I would be able to upload to my favorite website, but now again, I can come in here and save this preset. And every time that I had a photo that I wanted to upload to my favorite website, I could come in here and there is my preset. So now it's time for a little bonus tip here. Let's say this photo here you want to put it on different social media sites. You want it on Facebook, you want it on Instagram, you want it as your Facebook banner. So what we need to do is protect this image here because it's our main image. So I've already saved it. And I've made an adjustment over here with the curves layer and I just made the background a little bit darker with these mountains back here. And if you need to know more about layers and layer masks, you could click on the, um, the link above. So first thing we wanna do, of course, you want to save this as your main file. And I'm gonna create a, a new layer and I'm going to go up here to image, apply image, and I'm gonna take all the defaults as they are. And so what this did is it, it just made a snapshot of everything below the So now what we wanna do is right click on this top layer and go to duplicate layer and where it says document, we want to say new. Let's name this Facebook banner. So here's the original, which you don't want to touch. You don't, you don't want to be on this layer. 
and resize it for Facebook and save it because then it has basically saved over your master copy, so to speak. So go back here to Facebook banner, go to the crop tool. Here's my Facebook banner crop, resized it or cropped it right there and it did resize it. And there you have your Facebook banner and see, notice up here, there's a different tab. So you preserved your main file. And if I wanted to, I could say file export, save for web legacy. And it has the Facebook image size right here. I could save it out to my desktop. Facebook banner as a JPEG. And there we go. Now, if I wanted to do the same thing for another social media like Instagram, there's my main file. Go back over here again to duplicate layer. Document is new, call it Instagram. There's another tab right here. While I'm on that tab, I can go to the crop tool. Go to Instagram. There is my Instagram ratio, fortify ratio. Click my check mark. I can go file, export, save for web legacy. And Instagram is 1080. You can save it. And there I go. Another reason you might want to do this too is um, before you export, if you wanted to, you could sharpen it, but you always sharpen for the photo size that you're going to use it at. So there's a bonus tip right there. So preserving your initial file and create different documents for say another size. So when you're in the crop tool, up here at the toolbar for all the crop options, you have something else called straighten. So I can click on straighten and come down and right here where the rocks meet the water, I'm going to click and draw, hold my shift down. I don't have to go all the way to, to both sides of the photo just go a little bit, let go. You see the photo tilted. Click my checkbox and Photoshop is working on this. And so there we go. We have a straightened photo. So another option we have here at the top is content aware. So what content aware is going to allow us to do is add to this canvas or the size of the photo. Now say, in this photo if we wanted additional space down here because eventually when we wanted to crop this differently and we needed some more space at the bottom so what we can do is grab this handle pull it down let's say that much hit the check mark and Photoshop is going to fill in that bottom part with more grass. You can see that down here. So now that if we wanted to crop this differently, say for Instagram, we have a little bit different composition because we've added this space down here. Let's go to another example. So let's take this photo here. 
say we want to make this our Facebook banner. Come down here and choose my preset. But hey, now I want the full length businessman here because I want to make Facebook banner to my business page. I want to add text maybe. So what I could do is I can pull out from this side and it's still maintaining my Facebook banner size. I have the full length picture in view. Hit my checkbox and there it is. I have a Facebook banner size right here. And if I wanted to, uh, on the right hand side here, I could put text or more graphics. And down here, you could see that I still have my 820 by 312 pixels, which is Facebook banner size. So another way you can use content aware, we're going to talk about resizing now. Before I do, I'm going to make another copy of this layer here, like we did earlier to a new document. And that way I'm not going to touch the original, but I want to compare. So if you want to use this image here and use and not crop or anything, you can go to the image image size dialog. Uh, I left this in inches. It's currently 18 inches by 12. And I'm going to take this and make it seven inches in height of almost five. And I am resizing it, making it smaller. And that is how you would just basically come in and resize an image very quickly. And in this case, you're not worried about a crop. But now there's something else we can do. And this wasn't thought of before, but this is kind of a bonus thing here. You can make this image bigger now. You can go from a smaller image and make it bigger in Photoshop. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to duplicate this layer again and make it another document. I'm calling it upsize. And now in the upsize, just to check right now, it is seven by five. I bring up the image, image size dialog, and let's make this 12 inches and it goes to eight inches because this little area, this, um, this chain here is clicked and it restricts the aspect ratio. So now I've changed this to 12 by eight, but the trick is change this to preserve details 2.0, click okay. And now we have increased the image size and down here it's telling me at the bottom left that it's 12 by eight. Here's the other one. This is seven by five. And here's the original one which is 18 by 12. So we went from original was a big image. We resized it down and then we brought it up again. It is a sharp image still. Always using the image, image size dialog. It's never too late to learn. If you need more videos on Photoshop or Lightroom, check out these. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.